White Noise is a play about a group of four friends, two couples who have known each other since college. And when one of them, Leo, has um, a, is mistreated by the cops, it leads him to start questioning his identity, his identity as it relates to race, and it leads him to suggest to his friends that they participate in a very radical, very risky experiment. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Everything else you have to come see. <laughs> <laughs> the play is about really serious things, and so I think, like, I'll speak for myself, like you sort of approach it with a sense of care and thought and an understanding of what it's about. And then at a certain point, the, the room becomes about like, that's not how we live. Like even when really serious things are going on, we're looking to laugh, we're looking to kiss, we're looking to embrace and joke. And so I think the process has been in some ways like acknowledging that the underneath, that the underbelly of the play will always be there no matter what we do, and that our job is to actually like deliver the comedy, the love, the warmth, the humor, like the genre I think is life. It's hugely thematic and it's dealing with race and identity and America and sort of foundational ideas of those things, but she packages it and places it in this way that makes it really accessible and lets you gravitate towards the light and the warmth and the joy and the friendship of these people so that you can actually really interrogate those questions. We made a joke really early on that this was like the HBO version of Friends, right? <laughs> Where it's like, yeah, you know, they're friends and they hang out and things go down, but like HBO style, it goes down. Yeah, times 50. Times 50. <laughs> times 50. <laughs> times 50. Yeah, that's, that's my genre for it, HBO mm -hmm. Friends. The entire play is so beautifully structured in a way that like always is trying to like decipher and intersect this this sort of argument around race that she's trying to have, uh, or at least that I feel like she's trying to have with like this modern day millennial 2019 audience. There is no time to, to double think. You kind of have to commit to getting on the roller coaster, strapping on, and just go, mm -hmm. you know, so. We're not gonna like sit in, you know, hushed tones like privately with only the, like we're gonna get into it. If we're gonna start to talk about it and talk about, like you say, like one of the original sins of this country then got to get into it and that's what this play does and hopefully like you're leaving the theater like I can imagine I mean that's what it drew me out too you could just I want to have a talk back after every show you know and I hope that it stirs everybody because I mean I just can't imagine not being stirred by this play like, I'm walking out like I, I would just love to set up a microphone <laughs> in the lobby and catch some of those conversations because that that's what it's all about what do you think people are going to love about white noise? I think they're going to love how much fun we have. Like, we, we play a lot on stage, and the scenes where all of us are together is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play, and I think it's infectious. Like, when you're sitting in the audience, I think you're going to want to be in the bowling alley with us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even though you don't know what's coming later. But right. <laughs> it's still fun. It's a lot of fun to, to like play with each other. just about to say, we haven't mentioned bowling. We haven't mentioned we have. bowling. There's yeah. so much bowling in the show. And I think like, you know, the play obviously deals with really heavy topics, but part of what makes Susan Laurie Parks brilliant is that she writes it like a, you know, it's connected to what you said. Like you would want to be in this friend group. These people are like hilarious and fun and you know, like, we're in a band together and bowl every week and, like, there is something about it that's so dear, yeah. you yeah. know, that's, like, it's, it's really, really fun, kind of, until it surprises you. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> and I think what's, what I'm curious about is, like, I think it's going to be different what, what people find funny every night, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. And what, maybe what people are, like, worried if, like, is that funny? Is it okay if I laugh at that? I mean, there's a, there's a lot to, like, get excited for. Um, yeah, like you said before, it maybe takes a turn. <laughs> I mean, it's, it is, there's fireworks all over this play, and the performances are absolutely amazing and stunning, and the words feel like you're biting into, like, filet mignon every single night. Mm. So I'm pretty sure when the audience hears the words, they're going to want to come back just for these arias that are just so amazing that all of us have.